During a series of remotely operated vehicle surveys off California and Hawaii, six observations of a large deep-sea chimera, identified as Hydrolagus troli, were documented. These records are the only images of this rare species in its natural habitat and reveal a significant range extension into the northern hemisphere. This species was named in honor of Alaskan artist Ray Troll, whose fascination and appreciation for this weird group of fish has inspired some of his artwork. Chimera skeletons are composed of cartilage, not bone, a characteristic that groups them together with sharks and rays. They are sometimes known, informally, as ratfish or ghost sharks. But unlike sharks, with their conveyor belt rows of teeth, chimeras have non-replaceable tooth plates, composed of dense minerals and an upper jaw that is fused to their skull. Chimera species are described using a combination of physical features, including coloration, lateral line canal pattern, fin shape, eye size, and snout shape. It can be difficult to distinguish between species due to subtle differences in these characteristics. Hydrolagus troli, the pointy-nosed blue chimera, was first described in 2002 from 23 specimens captured off New Caledonia at depths from 610 to 2,000 meters. This species had only been identified by specimens caught in the southwestern Pacific off Australia New Zealand, and New Caledonia, until the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute filmed them off the west coast of Hawaii, San Juan and Davidson Seamounts, and Monterey Canyon off California. These video observations show individuals occurring over rocky seafloor, suggesting that this species may prefer this habitat. This was unexpected because ghost sharks are usually found over sedimented seafloor. We refer to these video observations as Hydrolagus CF troli. The CF translates to compare with, indicating that these six observed specimens most closely resemble the species Hydrolagus troli. In order to confirm the identity of this animal, we need to collect specimens, analyze its physical characteristics, and conduct DNA analyses so we can compare it with other known species. These likely observations of Hydrolagus troli increase the number of known Hydrolagus species to three off California and two off the Hawaiian Islands. If further analysis were to reveal that these fishes are not Hydrolagus troli, they most likely represent a new species. This is yet another example of how little we know about the deep sea, where opportunities for exploration and discovery still await. This is Lonnie Lunston from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute.